All right, what's up, everybody? Rob Tui here. We're going to show you how to make a fully automated and completely coded Fantasy Grounds character in five minutes. Uh, cheer bits. Cheer bits. Cheer bits. Stream. Thanks for <laughs> okay. the cheer bits. Hey, I'm, I'm streaming this. This is going to be on YouTube, but I'm streaming it. Okay, thanks for the cheer bits. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to, I'm actually going to start a timer here so that I, hey Siri, start stopwatch. Hey Siri, start stopwatch. Make me have to tell you twice. God damn it. All right, reset. Okay, so as soon as I start. So before I start, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Uh, I, there are several modules that I've created for character building. Um, anybody who's heard my name before knows that I've done that. If you're watching this YouTube, like, what is this guy all about? You'll see here what, what's happening. And in the YouTube video, I'll put the links that you can get these materials. Uh, these are outside DMs Guild materials that I'm using uh, inside Fantasy Grounds to build the characters quicker. So as you see, I have a a full PC generator. It basically uh, generates the ability scores, gives you a random background, random race, random class, random gender, random alignment, and then if you need feats, languages, or if you're a spell user, it'll roll it'll roll tables for you. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a fighter. I already I, I clicked generate and and this came up this fighter. So I thought yeah let's do that because if you're a, if it's a spell caster it's gonna take longer right. So uh, a fighter won't take as long because we won't need to do spells. So I'm just gonna open a brand new character, start my little timer here, and see how long this takes us. And I'm guessing it's gonna take us around five minutes. Uh, but it might it might take a little over that, but it, I don't think we'll get to six minutes. I've done this a, a couple times. I don't know. How do you open my cell phone? I don't know my code. What the hell? I'm, I'm robbing my... I'm. Oh my god. Hold on. My cell phone. I have it set down on the counter so that you know it won't use my face. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start the timer, and then, I'll, I'll, and then we'll see where we are. Okay. Start. So go to PCs. Make a new PC. And first thing we got to put in is, oh, his stats suck. First thing we got to put in is stats. So 6, 13, 7, 15, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, he sucks. Uh, background, he's a far traveler. So click on that. I'll make sure far traveler is open. And it was. Uh, he is, a, let's see. He is a, let's go, I want to go in order. So you can, once you've done this a few times, you can skip the order, but... I'm just going to go in order of what the, what this says here. So, he's 19 years old. He's five foot. He's four foot nine plus three inches. So he's five feet tall. So five feet, and his weight is 110 plus HM. The height modifier is three. So three times five is 15. 15 plus 110 is 125. So that's that's that. Okay, back to the first thing here. Now he is a tiefling variant. So let's bring that in. Boom. Uh, it's going to ask me to choose a sub race. Oh, let's make him a devil's tongue. What the hell? We don't care. That's fun. And then uh, his class is fighter. So we'll bring that over there. And it's going to ask me to choose two skills. I'll choose acrobatics and intimidation. Boom. Uh, and then he's a male. So let's go back over to the notes tab and say that he's a male. Is he's lawful neutral as an alignment, so that's that. And then he won't have a feat. Let's see if he needs any languages. Uh, he has one language of his choice, okay? So, and I'm doing this randomly, obviously. So I'll go to the languages table, roll on that, ends up to be abyssal, bring it over, boom, abyssal, done. Uh, he's not a spell user. So basically, he's done, except that we've got to uh, automate him. So I will give him a. Give him the Rob Tui thing like that. And then let's go down. Inventory. Oh, we got to do his inventory. So that's quick. I do have an inventory spell and equipments uh, thing. So let's open that up, which is under parcels. And let's see. He was a, what was he, a far traveler? So let's grab that. Far traveler. Boom. And he was a fighter. So, boom, all the inventory is done. That usually takes like 20 or 30 minutes by itself. That's done. It's over. Uh, notes, we got everything there. You, you can actually, you can you can roll these up to randomly if you want. So, uh, you can do that, but that's more of an RP thing. Nothing to do with automation. 
Uh, and then his actions. Okay, so now we have to go to his abilities, and we got to open all of these, right? And then we're going to automate whatever these are. All eyes on you. Now that's a background feature that has no coding. That's just a that's just a uh, role play thing. Fighting style. Let's choose archery. Let's go here to the list. Let's get archery. Oh, it's already there. Fighting style. Bring it over here. Change anything you drag from this list, of course, will be in the spells category. So let's change it to fighter category. And that's done. Second wind, also a fighter thing. And let's bring that over. Boom, automated. And let's clean these up as we go. Uh, let's see, devil's tongue, that's a tiefling thing. So devil's sight, devil's tongue, here it is. Bring that over. We're going to obviously change the category to the race instead of fighter, because that's how we like to do it. All right, and then Hellish Resistance, also a tiefling thing. Bring that over. And just take this out to clean it up in there real nice. And guess what? Done. Four minutes and three seconds. I made a Fantasy Grounds fully automated character in four minutes. And that's how you do it. Now... Let's do a little. Let's do something a little harder. Now that I've proved that you can do that in four minutes. Uh, what's up, Stuner? Uh, you can. You can do a, a, a one that's more difficult than that. Oh, you know what? I'll do. I'll go. I'll go through these a little bit though. To show you what I did. So, the the random PC generator revamped. This is a thing that I used to generate. Uh, to get ge to generate the character randomly. And you can do it randomly, or if you'd like to, you can do it step by step, which is you can, you know, you can do it this way. And all the instructions are here, and this is available at the DMs Guild, and I'll put the link in the video. So you can actually go through just, you know, oh, it tells you literally step by step. Open a, a brand new PC, name your PC, roll on the abilities table, and you can do them manually, or you can roll, you know, it'll give you six numbers like that. Uh, you can choose a background or roll on the table that has all the backgrounds in the game. So again, I'm not going to go through all that. You you can literally go step by step. Uh, and I, I hate it when people overuse the word literally, but I am using it correctly in this case. So you can do that or you can roll on the story template, which is here, that does it all for you, basically. So I'll just do that now. Uh, the other things, before I continue, the... Effects coding for spells, race, feats, and class were there, and then I did. I have the equipment bundle packages, which lets you drag over all the equipment, all the starting equipment for a background and or a class. So you saw how easy that was. So let's let's do a different one, a druid. Okay, fine, druid. I'll just take the first one I got. Druid. Let's do it. So here's all the stuff for the druid that I just rolled. So let's create a new character. I'll just even delete this one. Create a new character. I'm not going to time this one, but it'll it'll probably take me six or seven minutes because it has spells. All right. So uh, same thing. We'll give him a. I guess I forgot to name the last one, but um, you know, in the interest of time, Bob. Eh, we'll call him Rob. Rob's way better than Bob. All right. So let's put in the ability scores. So 10, 6, 7, skip, 13, 16. Done. He is an inheritor background. Uh, I will choose Arcana for his skill. He is 20 years old. What's that, the notes tab? Yeah, 20 years old. Uh, he's 4'10 plus 9, so he's 5'7". Five foot seven inches tall, five feet seven inches tall. You don't say foot. And then his weight is 85 plus nine times four is 36. So that's 121, I think, if my math is correct. We're just going to say it is. And he is an elf. So I have to open the player's handbook. Boom. Put over there, elf. He's going to be a, a moon elf. That's fun. Maybe he'll be a moon druid. We don't know. A moon elf, moon druid. 
All right. He's not going to have a feat because he's not a human variant at first level. Uh, does he need languages? Let's see. He needs one of his choice. Oh, two of his choice. So we will roll him two languages. Bam, bam. He's going to speak orc. And it's not orcish, it's orc. People make that mistake. And sylvan. Boom, like that. Uh, he is a spell user. He is a druid. Ah, two cantrips. Druids know the entirety of their spells. So druid cantrips. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Here, two cantrips. Resistance. Right? And magic stone. Boom. Oh, I forgot his uh, I forgot his equipment, didn't I? What happened? Oh, magic stone is not in a book I have open, so I have to open the book. There we go. Um Oh, and uh what I would do, actually I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I would use my spell coding. Uh and I don't think I actually did that in the in the first character I built, but that's what I would do is I would go here to to my uh, spells, right? And maybe shorten this list a little bit. Um, by the way, guys, if you have questions, let me finish making the character and then I'll answer your questions. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, so magic, magic resistance. What is it called? What is it called? Magic stone. Magic Stone, bring that over, and then Resistance. Oh, I, I combined them. <laughs> I combined the two spells into Magic Resistance. All right, that's what I would do. Uh, and then I did forget the equipment, so let's go back to inventory. I forgot the equipment, so let's open the parcels. No, not tables. Parcels. And this guy was a druid, right? A druid and a what? Oh, Inheritor. So let's go to Inheritor. Right here. Boom. Dragging on. All that equipment's done. Gold and everything. It's done. All right. Now, uh, I think all I have to do is just automate his, automate the rest of what's left for him. So let's go over to his abilities and open all these up. Boom, 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 boom. Now let's open the spell list where all the codes are. And inheritance again is his background feature, so that is nothing that has coding. That's just fluff and RP. So we don't do anything there. Cantrip. Oh, you know one cantrip from your choice from the wizard spell list. Intelligence. Okay, so let's go to let's go do this. Let's go to level zero. Let's go to wizards. Right? Wizards. And it's probably going to be Firebolt, because that's what everybody takes. But let's see these. Oh, Acid Splash. Yeah, let's give him Acid Splash. That's a fun one. But there's all the there's all the level zero or cantrips, wizard um, spells, all coded with my coding packages. So let's give him that. And he's got it. Uh, you have proficiency with the long sword, short sword, short bow, and long bow. Oh, Elvin, okay. That's something we have to note over here on... The abilities tab. His proficiencies are so weapon. We would just add that long sword show boo yeah like that. Okay, let's we'll copy that over there like that. Boom, done. Fey ancestry. Okay, that is a thing. So let's get these parameters off and go back up here to all type in fey a there it is fey, fey ancestry that is an elf thing so let's bring it over and recategorize it as an elf thing to keep our character sheet all orderly and nice all right and then keen senses you have proficiency in the perception skill might have already given me that it did. Okay, that was automatic. Trance. Trance isn't a thing that you need for coding. It's just that you, you don't need to sleep, so we skip that. And there, it's done. So, I don't know. Did I time that? I didn't time that one, did I? 
No, I was just uh, not timing it. So anyway, but you can see how fast you can build. Oh, this is a uh, this is actually a mistake in one of the modules. I, I should see if they updated that yet. Uh, it's a mistake in the class, I think. It's supposed to say choose one from among, and instead they put plus one. That is a um, that's an error in the coding of the module, which I. I want to say I saw that on the forums and they fixed that. Maybe I just haven't updated it yet. But anyway, that wouldn't happen normally. So there we go. We're done. So uh, I have not been looking at the chat uh, for those of you that are watching me on Twitch. So I apologize if you ask me questions, but if I didn't answer you, I'll answer them now. So let me let me scroll back and see. Uh, do a wizard. <laughs> I can do a wizard, Robin, if you want me to. Uh, if you'd like me to do a wizard. Here, let's do a – here, I know what we'll do. Uh, people are going to see this video on YouTube, and it's going to say build a character in five minutes, and then the, the video is going to be an hour, and they're going to be like, what the fuck is this guy? But, you know, the first five minutes. So let's do a wizard, and here's what we'll do. We'll do the step-by-step -step building, and you guys can tell me what you want. Um, let's go to reference manual and do the step-by-step -step instructions and get those out here. All right, so let's open a new character. I need a name. I'm just going to take uh, – the, the class will be wizard, but when you guys type in the chat, I'll take the first suggestion I get for each thing I asked for. And don't don't get ahead of me because I'm not going to take suggestions until I ask for it. So let me give him the – let me give the thing here. All right, his name is going to be uh, – <laughs> okay, the name is Robin. So we need to – uh, roll ability scores. So we'll do random ability scores, and we'll move them around. Let's take the highest one as the – here's what you do. We want it to be a wizard, so the intelligence has to be at least 13. So we're going to roll – there we go. Boom, 14. So uh, 12, 12, 15, 14, 12, 7. It's an ugly wizard. That's a shame. It's not It's not Robin. It's, it's Robin's name, but it's not Robin. Uh, okay, so – Enter the ability scores in the sheet. I did that. Roll on the background table. What background, you guys? What background? Oh, you want him to be a human variant wizard. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, Badger is the best name ever. What background, everybody? If you don't give me a background, I'll just roll on the table. Pirate. Okay, fine. Let's go to pirate and put that as the background. And it didn't ask me to choose anything, so that's good. Race, uh, human variant. Oh, <laughs> see, it goes to different tables. So human variant obviously is in the player's handbook, so I'll go races. Human variant should be here. I know you're doing human variant so you can pick a feat because you all like to cheat. Human variant race, boom. Uh, we're obviously going to do... Well, I, I would say obviously intelligence, but intelligence is already even, so maybe we do con and charisma to give those another bump on the even side. So con, charisma, one more hit point, boom. Uh, skills, we'll just choose arcana because this guy's a wizard, right? Fuck. All right, race table, we did that. Uh, class is obviously wizard, so let's open the classes. Class. Never, I never can. I always, my mouse goes up and down over here. After five years of using Fantasy Grounds, I still don't know where, which, where, where's classes. Here it is right here. I still can't do it. All right, so we're going to do Wizard out of the Player's Handbook. Boom. And skills are, we've got Arcana. Uh, ooh, Investigation and Medicine. A Medicine Wizard. Let's do it. All right, let's see what else. All right, what feat? We can roll, or you can give me a feat. What what should the feat be? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna pick an archetype. But we can we can level them up though, if you guys want to level them up and pick an archetype. But what feat do you guys think a wizard should have? Toughness. <laughs> we can roll if you don't want to pick one. Uh, okay, it looks like you guys aren't maybe picking, so I'm gonna roll. The feat is Warcaster. Well, that makes for perfect fucking sense, doesn't it? It totally makes sense. So we're going to go to the abilities and we're going to put Warcaster right in the feats. Boom, like that. See? Easy. All right. 
the language table. Does this guy get languages? He gets his choice of a language, so we'll make that easy. We'll just roll. Is it? Uh, he's ignorant. He's ignorant. All right. Now. Uh, switch to the inventory tab. Populate your inventory. Okay, I'll do that. I'll go to parcels, and I'll do wizard. And of course, if you if you put something in the starting inventory and it, it chooses a weapon in the quarter staff, and you don't want that, you want the club and say whatever. You can change it if it's as long as it's legal. But this just gives you the the quick way to do it. And he he was a pirate, right? So let's go get pirate. Pirate, yeah. Okay, so that's all in there now. His whole inventory is there. Uh, let's see. Switch to the notes tab. It's going to be female. And you can, we're, we're choosing female, but we can do the height and the weight. Type in what? Manual dice entry. Do I have manual dice entry on? I didn't know I had manual dice entry on. I certainly did. Wow, funny. Last time we did the show, I think. Let's try that again. Okay, so obviously the we're going to choose female, but the... Oh, wait, where's the height? Oh, okay, so fine, fine. Use age, height, weight that were ruled previously with race. Oh, okay, so race... Uh, so since we chose human variant, I actually have to go to the tables and, oh, how does that go again? I think you can't get those unless you do roll. Let's, let's see. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Let's go look. Race table. Let's roll and see what happens. Okay, it rolled half elf variant. Oh, race skag. Okay, so race PHB is what we need. Race PHB, race PHB, race PHB. All right, and it's gonna. I guess. I guess we'll just roll till we get. Oh, here, here, I'll do this. I'll make, I'll just make it a nine. So roll on the table, make it a nine on the die. Give it to me. Boom. Okay, there we go. So back over here to age 20. Height is 5'8". Uh, and weight is... 134. There you go. She's 20. She's 5'8. She weighs 134. That's how you do it. Nice, friendly druid. Uh, I mean, wizard. Okay, gender is alignment. Uh, what alignment, you guys? <laughs> You're 20 again. What alignment? Chaotic evil. What alignment? Neutral good. Okay. Alignment, NG, boom. Drag the resulting, okay, roll your person. Oh, oh, so here's what I didn't do on the first one that you can do. You can go to your background and um, you can do your traits. You know, you can do your flaws, your ideals, that, that whole thing, right? Usually this is what I do here. Let me clear the chat so you guys can see this better. Whoops, what the hell was that? Uh, so I open all the tables, right? One, two, three, four. And then I just roll. Oh, never mind. I have I gotta change dice to back to not on. Okay. And then I roll, close, roll, close, roll, close, roll, close. What I do? Did I do something twice? So personality trait. Uh ideal. Bond. I did two bonds. So let's do the flaw. Flaw. Sometimes I think the rules say you roll. You're supposed to roll two personality traits. I don't know. I just do one for everyone. But anyway, you can see how fast that is. All right. Um. And.
and you're done. If you are a spell user, switch to the Actions tab and use the following link, Wizard. So generate three cantrips and six first level spells. Boom, do it. <laughs> there they are. Now again, you can just drag those straight over, but what I would do is I would use my spell codings. So let's go to Rob Tui Spells, go over here, bring up the wizard list. No, I mean, I don't have to bring up the wizard list. It's just going to narrow the search, but... Boom. All right, so Gust. Yeah, see, it's already 300. Yeah, whatever, Gust. So let's bring over Gust as a spell. Cantrip. Chill Touch. Get that one. Booming Blade. That one. Click on little magnifying glasses to clean it up a little bit. All the automation is there. All right. Now we're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's no there's no repeats. Okay, so Long Strider. And, of course, you could pick these spells, but I'm just doing it randomly, right? I'm just doing it for quick down and dirty purposes. Silent Image uh, Unseen Servant Unseen and Unheard. Bitch make me a turkey pot pie, I think is the servant part of it. Detect magic. Uh, earth tremor. All the Rob Tui code magic missile. Right? All right, and then we'll just, I, I like to keep these so they look nice without all the coding spread out everywhere. Okay, so now all we have to do is go to automate the, uh, the, the the instructions on how to build the character here doesn't tell you to do the automated, um, the last step on the actions tab. But that's because I assume anybody that purchases that might not also have the codes. So you can still build the character without automating it with the codes that I have. You can just do it from the regular stuff. But let's go do that because that's the last step. So let's close that. Let's close this. Let's go to the abilities tab and click on all of these and then see what they are warcaster warcaster is a feat and does that have let's find out does that have a code i it might have a it might i don't know let's find out if it doesn't have a code then it doesn't need a code so uh no, Warcaster doesn't have... That's just a thing that allows you to cast a spell instead of a melee attack for if they if they opportunity attack and all that stuff. But there's no codes for that. Arcane Recovery. Arcane Recovery doesn't have a code, but it does have a counter. I thought it did. Oh, no, Arcane Recovery, that's where you... No, no, that's for the wizard gets half his level. Okay, so there's no codes for that because you just... When you take a short rest, you get half your levels back. Bad Reputation is a feature of the background. None of those have codes. Spell casting. Well, that doesn't have codes either because the spells are there. So, yeah, this is getting easier. A feat. We gained a feat. We got it. Warcaster. Skills. You gain proficiency in one skill. Now, that would have already automatically been done because Fantasy Grounds does that for you. That's it. So, we, we actually ended up not having to do much for that guy. Now, do you guys want to pick an archetype? Oh, the, oh yeah, you're right, Robin. You're totally right. Uh, You're totally right. You should do well, every character that you make. Every single character you make should have um, four actions, and you should make it. You should drag one over and make make an action tag. I completely forgot about that, but yeah, I would have started playing the character and been like, "Hey, where the hell's my actions?" So you make your own category for actions, uh, and then the four actions we always use. To, to automate, you should have it on every character you ever make are dodge, help, hide, and ready, in case you want to ready an action during combat. And you can clean these up by, you know, deleting the deleting the, the word action there. And then another thing you can do, too, is you can have all the potions. 
available on your sheet. So we go here, and I usually do this, make that the potion category, right? Or even items. You could you could generally do items and put other magical item coatings in there or whatever. So maybe I'll call that item. And then you put the greater healing, the healing, the superior healing, and the supreme healing. And that way, the, the, this isn't saying that you have those potions. This is just the coding is there in case you need them. So if, uh, if, you, if you get a potion of healing or a potion of greater healing and put it on your inventory, now you have the code for it all ready to go. The reason we really do this, the people in my community, the, the reason we code these there is because when we play online on the Twitch chat or on the Twitch stream – uh, people that are watching the game can buy us potions. They can buy the potions for players, and they're just instantly put on. So each player has a potions on their on their character sheet. And now, if somebody buys me a potion of healing, and you know I'm just I'm just here. Uh, let's get rid of these guys because they're not there. But let's say I'm there in the combat tracker, right? Robin is there in the combat tracker, and let's say I'm you know damaged. And somebody in the chat buys me a healing potion. I can just grab the healing potion off my sheet, give it to myself. Boom. That's how you do it. Uh, okay. Warcaster is. Does the Warcaster give you advantage on concentration checks? Does it? Does Warcaster give you advantage on concentration checks? Let's find out. Um, if I remember where to get it. You have advantage on constitution saving throws that you make. To oh, yes, you do. Okay, so Warcaster must have a code. Why didn't I see it? Oh, I just didn't see it. It's there. So, absolutely. Go down here, and we're going to add that in. And we're going to make that a feat category, right? Not your feet that you walk on, but a feat like that. Now, that would actually be something... That you would put on at the beginning of the game or at the beginning of your playing and you'd put that and you just leave it there because it has advantage saves on concentration. So if I do a save on strength, no dex, no. But if I do concentration, boom, it didn't give me advantage. What happened? Uh, oh, because it's not a con that that wasn't concentration. That would have to be, you'd have to have, let's see, does does the wizard have a concentration spell? Let's look. Let's look. Yes, silent image. So let's say silent image was on me. And it has that C there, right? If I had to do a concentration saving throw, which, that's a dex. I need to find something with a concentration saving throw. Uh, is, is there even a spell? No, there's nothing with it. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this particular wizard doesn't have, no. Well, I'll just change I'll just change a thing. Well, I'll just change this to con here. Okay. So let's say the wizard was forced to do a concentration saving throw. It would... Oh no, 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 no! I, I'm so, I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. The concentration saving throw occurs when you have damage, right? So let's damage the wizard, and then watch in the chat, and you'll see a over here. You'll see a, a concentration saving throw with advantage. There it was, and he failed it. So then that came off. Boom! That's how you. That's how you do it. Okay, I'm all caught up and back to sanity now. Uh, set it and forget it. That's right. Only for concentration checks. Yeah. So I, I figured it out. Um, yeah, you guys were already ahead of me trying to help me. Make him take damage. Okay, good. So I'm all caught up to you guys. So, uh, if you guys have more questions, I'll answer them. Otherwise, I'm going to stop the video. I don't know how long I've been. I was initially going to make the video just the five-minute video, but I figured since you guys were in Twitch with me, yeah, we've been doing it for 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 37 minutes. Um, if you guys have other questions, I'll answer them. Otherwise, I'm going to end the video... And then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. So, okay, good. Thanks, guys. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, look for the links to that, uh, those items in the chat below. 
or I mean in the in the description box. And if you are watching the video on YouTube and you have more questions, then feel free to come to our Discord. That link will also be down there and uh, we've got about 700 members in our Discord who are always able to answer questions and help, so feel free to come by. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and until next time, good gaming, everyone.